All right. I, of course, just got out of what store, Bill? You can uh, tell them all. Dollar Tree. You got it. I'm sure it is not a surprise to any of you. And um, Bill just hung out in the car while I went in. So I got a bunch of really cool stuff. But I'm just excited to share a couple of things with him. And so I knew if I was excited to share them with Bill, I'm excited to share them with all of you. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3, and of course I've just said his name about three times. Bill. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to start off by sharing these, <laughs> really they are something, these Dollar Tree items. I moved. Uh, maybe it did. <laughs> You're going to see. So we are going to do a Dollar Tree haul. Not a big one. I get all kinds of stuff. But right now we have um, a bunch of other stuff to share too. Because of course it is still October. And so we are Ooh. in Vlogtober. So we are going to head out for some autumn adventure and we're going to take you along too for that but let's start off with the haul okay. because i can't wait any longer so what do you say let's go let's go all right so i kept the stuff down here in the bag so there's, Should I close my eyes? There's two really interesting things, and then there's just one thing that, whatever, I'm excited by it, and I want to use it, so I want to show it. But, um, all right, close your eyes. Right. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Okay. Oh, Keep yeah. Keep them closed. Yeah. You got them closed? They're closed. They've been closed. Okay, open them. Yeah. <laughs> Is it an improvement? Huh? <laughs> Is it an improvement? If you happen to love Frankenstein's, you're gorgeous. Frankenstein. <laughs> All right, I'm a little bit creeped out, though, because this is, I probably should have cleaned it first. Oh, yeah. How oh, many people have been I breathing in it. that? I know it. I don't know. Here, you want to talk uh. about it, Ma? <laughs> oh, no. All right. Monster mask. Yes. Yep. So that's Frankenstein. You'll sweat in this thing, boy. I'll tell you that. This plastic, it's not All forgiving. All right. And now look at this Ooh, one. Ooh, Dracula. Whoa. All See, right. the Dracula or Richard Nixon? I can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know, right? I am not a crook. <laughs> <laughs> so our grandson actually had seen these and he wanted them for his birthday everything that's his new thing now you know can i get that for my birthday well his birthday is in may <laughs> but he is like turned into a little like halloween fiend he well, just loves like his meme. halloween and so he really wanted these masks so when i went in of course i grabbed these two and they had another one i think like a mummy but this is that new line. Now, it's a Greenbrier line, but just pretending. Yeah, just pretending, so, learn, grow, play. Yeah, so Three that's plus. a new label. Yeah. But So this one is very creepy looking. I was thinking I could take an X-Acto knife and just cut out more of that rubber at the mouth because it's got really nice eye holes, but I think if you made that space bigger at the mouth yeah um, yeah less water under the mask yeah condensation exactly. yeah. so but for fun and of course he wanted them for the halloween party mm -hmm. and they actually i like the thickness of this elastic band like when we were kids remember they had that string elastic oh, yeah. with the two little metal things yeah. and it was constantly breaking yeah. so this is actually a good quality looking elastic and it's not really tight. It felt comfortable on my head. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Yeah, plastic is a little bit giving, yeah. Yeah, and these are like rubberized, so they actually feel quite nice and will be um, easy to clean. I'm going to take a bleach wipe and clean the insides of them. So, but yeah, creepy looking for sure. Yeah, Tricky Dick was creepy. 
All right, and the last thing I want to share, this is tame. Nothing to do with <laughs> Halloween, no, for real. But it's this. Oh, look it. I'm color coordinated, though. What is it? They're the fragrance boosters that you put in your washing machine. Oh, I like those. I do, too. And the reason why I was excited to get this one is because it's a brand new scent. It's called Tropical. So it's 10.5 ounces. See, no seal there. So mm -hmm. just be... Um, wary if you have anybody in your household that needs to you know not get into like these poisonous products you saw how easy to open Ooh, and not smell. seal mm, yeah it's yeah. really nice a little flower a little citrus so you could put these beads um certainly i use them as intended in the washing machine I loved it back in the day for a while at the Dollar Tree. I could find those huge containers yeah. of them. But if I ever come across them, I'm going to be smart and buy like literally like four of them mm -hmm. um, because I've never come across them now in months. Yeah, those high efficiency uh, washing machines, they have a tendency to stink a little bit with the water that's yeah, that's sure. down and the left over from the pump in yeah. the reserve or whatever. Yeah. Because it uses so little, it doesn't take too much to uh, foul it. Yeah. So I empty mine every day, but I'd still like to use those just yeah. to freshen up the laundry. It just makes your laundry smell so nice. Yeah. So they had their typical like spring scent and I think lavender, but this looked interesting and different. And now just smelling it because I didn't smell it in the store. I'm pleased with the scent of oh, yeah. it. And you could pour these into like little... um like sachets and you could use this as a car air freshener yeah. i bet um drawers put them in drawers yeah i was gonna say like if you again didn't have to worry about a kid getting into it you could probably like sprinkle these in your trunk you know how sometimes oh, yeah. a trunk gets musty like with uh like sporting equipment that's out in the rain and then it's in your trunk you could sprinkle some of these in probably leave it for a few days a week whatever and then go and vacuum use a free it vacuum out. Yeah. yeah and get like a nice scent left behind yeah. so i thought that was cool but in any case that is what i just want to share today because i don't want this um vlogtober issue to be like two hours long because we're gonna head off have some fun yeah. take you all along so we have a lot more to share we got a candy witch coming up, hopefully. Ooh, hopefully a candy that'd be witch. nice. Yeah. We shall see. Mm -hmm. If not today, another day. Another day. We'll catch her. Yep. She's out there. All right. Well, since I already hit up the Dollar Tree, I do need a couple of things that, sadly, I can't find in the Dollar Tree. So... I would like to make a quick run to Target. All right. All right. I know it's not Bill's favorite place, <laughs> but I don't know. Probably a couple of years ago, you wouldn't have said the Dollar Tree was your favorite place either. No. If we're being honest, right? No. I've converted him. So we are going to run into Target. Um, and of course... As you all know, being a Vlogtober, guess what? You're coming to Target too. <laughs> so let's get inside a Target and see what we can see. How cute are these? You can dress up a wagon to pull the little ones in. When my boys were little, the town did a Halloween parade. That would have been perfect. They're putting out more Halloween stuff. This is a really nice looking bucket. I mean, $10 is steep, but the felt quality on it is really nice. And this is a Jenga game, but with a pumpkin theme. And some party dice. Monster Mash Jelly Beans. Those sure look tasty. And a dollar a box. Why did I not grab those? 
And these nerds ropes in the Halloween theme, my grand loves those. And these are cute too. I'm just really trying to be good guys and just do window shopping today since I have so much Halloween decor. In fact, tomorrow, I think it will be tomorrow, I'll share my spooky porch with you. These felted wreaths are beautiful, but $20, that price is really rather steep. Same thing, this Hello Fall sign is cute, but we could recreate that with supplies from the Dollar Tree. Same thing, the witch's broom is nice, but I think you could make that on your own for less than the $20. And they have their costumes out now. These are kind of fun and different. I like that they have a lot of cutesy ones and not all just like gore. Things are cool. Reach in like for candy. And these little display pieces are made out of wood, really sweet. Now they are though $10 a pop. So for me, that's rather pricey, but kind of different and fun. It's a giant mask. I mean, wow, get a load of these. I've never seen anything like this. Now they are $20 a piece. I think these are probably what, like anime characters? So really adorable are those pop collectibles. They make you look like those. Just so fun and really something different. I don't know how practical. Those are so awesome. So we are back and in for the night. It's a cold one. We just turned on the pellet stove. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a pellet stove is, this is what it looks like. It burns bags of pellets. So gives us a little quick extra boost of heat. So here's a look inside the hopper and you can see this is what the pellets look like and I think they're made out of some type of pressed like wood scraps sawdust I don't know if you could just hear Bill he told me so they're hardwood uh, pressed sawdust but really keeps us toasty warm all of the uh, pets have over the years always loved sleeping curled up in front of this. Speaking of which, here is Mr. Bryn now. Came over to check it out because he really enjoys the heat. You want to say hi to everybody, huh? Yep, there's Mr. Bryn, our old man. And here are some more absolutely incredible viewer friend photos that I have to share. This project is open to everybody. I will include my email at the end here and I would love it if you would send me off some photos so that I can share them with everybody. And remember my friends, until next time, please be well.